Hello guys, here is Ahmad and here is a new video on control systems, especially continuous time second order transfer functions. We will use the normalized form of the transfer function. So we have the numerator omega square and the denominator s square plus 2x, 2 xi omega n plus omega n square. This transfer function has a unity DC gain with xi is the damping factor and omega n is the natural frequency. I will show you in this video how to study this transfer function and how to find the zeros, poles, time response, and frequency response of this transfer function. Then I will show you the effects of xi and omega n on these responses. So let us go to MATLAB example. I will go to MATLAB, I will create a new script. The first step is the initialization, clear all, to clear the workspace, CLC to clear or to clean the command window and close all to close all the figures. The second part is to create two variables, omega and I will put 0, 0.5 and xi equals 0, 0.7 and I will show you without semicolon we can see the values in the command window so first of all I will save the file I will create example and here I will put semicolon to stop seeing the variables at the command window I will use tf function of MATLAB with numerator so, uh, we use hat to the square and denominator so the coefficients of the transfer function and here you get the transfer function in the command window. To find the time response and the frequency response, we will use step and both. So here is step and the frequency response we use both. So here is both. Okay, I prefer to add figure one and figure two to plot each response on a separate figure. So here as you see we have two figures, figures one, figure one and figure two. Okay, let us find the poles and zeros of the transfer function. So I will put the poles in TO and the zeros in ZE. I will use pole and zero of the MATLAB. And as you see here, we get the zeros and the poles of this transfer function. And they are saved in the workspace. Okay, good. Let us now see the effect of Xi. So if Xi is greater than 1, we will have a damped uh, response. We will have an oscillating system for Xi less than 1. So here I will use a for loop. I will copy the code how to make the transfer function. I will put them in a for loop. And Xi will vary from 0, 1 to 1.2. Here we see the response. For different values it is very fast so I will put pause to see everything in a correct way and I will put hold on so I will plot all the response on the same figure and I will put grid on to see the grid on the figures to here you see it's better so here are the responses of the system okay I, ha I want to put a legend to see what is happening. So I will put legend xi. As you see, we have xi. But uh, what I want to put here is for each value of xi, I want to see the color of the figure. So here I will put, I will use string cat and uh, I will change that value of xi into a string if I can put it. So here, as you can see, we have xi equals 0, 1, 0, 9. Okay, it's working. But I want to see uh, all the legends. So I will add a counter here, i equal 1. And I and each iteration, I will change by 1. And then I will create this variable legend that will modify at each iteration. So I will see what is happening. Okay, it's working well. So Xi, we see all the values 
as the legend and that corresponds to each response. Okay, I will put this for figures. So here we see it's working for step response and both diagram. I will do the same thing and study the effect of omega n. So I will copy the same code here, but here I will put xi equal to 0, 7, and I will change omega n everywhere. So I can see omega n, and I will draw omega n to vary between 0 0.1 and 1.2 with a step of 0 0.1. And here, as you see, we see the boot diagram and the step response in function of omega n. Okay, thank you for watching. For more information, please see the description. Bye-bye.